I was not like a, a like a brave or talkative or outgoing kid. I was kind of shy and embarrassed a lot. And I often felt like an outsider between age 10 and age 15. So um, it's not an exact comparison, but I really relate to Gollum a lot. <laughs> feeling like an outsider, feeling ugly, feeling uh, alone, feeling like no one will ever understand. Hey, I'm really happy I got two kids. I got great friends. I have a great life. But, you know, teenage years are flipping hard, man. And it gets better if you're having a hard time. But I kind of did have a hard time for a while, and uh, I tapped into that mess uh, for going. We love you, Liam. We love Thanks, you. Thanks, Don. <laughs> Mine is mine's somewhat similar. Uh, uh, I would say Armin is one that I. I because I think a lot of people have experienced that feeling, also like what you were saying, the feeling of being an outcast, being feeling alone, feeling worthless in, in a sense. And I think at, at the very start of the show. That is a lot of what Arm is. He, in a lot of ways, he is his own worst enemy because his friends think that he's he's great, but he has convinced himself mm -hmm. that he is not equal to them, that he is worthless, and that, that uh, he has to work and improve himself in order to be equal to them. And uh, it was it was it was a it was a pretty cool ride to kind of go through that arc with him again and to to relive those feelings and to kind of like uh, confront them again and then to come out of it at the end, you know, when they were like in, in a tent and uh, Aaron tells him, hey, no, look, this is why I trust you. And you see that fantastic shot uh, of the Titan body shattering behind him and at the same time his horrible self-image shatters along with it. And it was just, it was this beautiful moment. And then from then, that, that point on, he's on fire and he knows who he is and he knows what he has to offer and he just he, he grabs hold of it and he runs with it. It's, it's awesome. You've given me chills because I, I, I got to work as a lead adaptive writer on Attack on Titan and when I wrote Armin I put a lot of myself and my own memories of being that kid because we were both that kid growing up. We've had this talk before, you know, the bookish smart kid who just feels like a liability to everybody. And God, man, when I wrote that, it was just pretty soul searching when you write stuff like that because it's that kind of show. But when I saw your performance, I completely cried the first three episodes. Aww. I did, I did. I like, I, because I liked it. I just want to make that very clear. <laughs> 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 you hate it. I know you're like, oh my God, why? <laughs> really? Really? Yeah, so, like, just, I just want to say, because I haven't had a chance to say in public yet for these people, but your Armin is amazing. Thank you for doing that. Man is what we are. <laughs>